Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun craft for you. I know it's been a really long time since I have done a craft, so I'm excited to bring one for you today. And we are gonna make what they call a barn quilt. I think they're super cute. So the idea is that it's a quilt on wood, right? And so what you're gonna wanna do in order to create this is come up with a pattern. I have searched for a bunch of them on Pinterest and things that I have wanted to do myself and I created this grid pattern on paper. Now, there are multiple ways that you can do this in, in terms of applying the grid pattern to the board and then applying the paint. I could easily draw this up in my silhouette and, print and have it cut out and lay the stencil down onto my board paint the stencil and be done with it. But what I realized from making this one, this is the first one that I made, was that painting was therapeutic for me. And I wanted to take the time to do it and enjoy it while I could and not just rush through it. I think sometimes we just rush through things and we don't actually enjoy the talent that is involved in it. And so that's what I'm going to show you today is doing it all raw. We're gonna draw the grid pattern onto the board. We're gonna paint every single block the color that they need to be painted. And then we're gonna go forward and finish it all up. So if you like this and you wanna watch more, stick around. If you want more craft videos or anything else here on my channel, subscribe, click that little bell so you can get notified. And I have lots to offer here on this channel. So let's go paint. Okay, so the, the things that you're gonna need to do this got paint. I am using chalk paint. I've got a black one and a gray one and a white one. And then I also have a finishing wax and we're going to do that at the very end. Then I've got a piece of sandpaper and a brush. This is just a cheapo one from Michaels. You can use a foam brush but I found that it helped to have that straight edge to really get into the corners and the edges to make them nice and straight. So now what we're going to do with our board here, I'm going to draw a grid pattern. I have an 18 inch square board and I'm leaving a little bit of a gap on the side in order to put the frame on. So I kind of drew out that pattern. Then I'm going to draw my grid pattern onto the board. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the board all lined up with the grid pattern. And what I'm going to do, we're gonna start with white. So you could paint the whole thing white and then put your grid pattern on it, but I feel like I would then have to erase off the lines that were on the white part. So that's why I decided to just paint every single block. And like I said before, it's, I found that it was a lot funner that way. I like to just kind of think of it as a quilt and I'm literally piecing it together, doing it block by block and kind of staying true to that. So I'm going to put my glasses back on, ignore the glare on them and we're going to paint this board. One thing that I will say, so I've got my grid pattern here. What I kind of did, and I'm going to mark it so you can see it. I've got a corner down here, and I'm going to mark that corner here on my board so I get the pattern correct when I'm looking at the pattern versus the board so I don't get mixed up with what color needs to go where. So let's just go paint.
so we're all done. Got the board all painted and it's dry. So you, this is something you can do. You don't have to do this. You can keep it nice and clean lines. But I like things roughed up and made it look more rustic. And if this is truly like a barn quilt, it's going to be kind of distressed. So I'm going to take my little piece of sanding paper and I'm just going to rough down the edges. There it is, all distressed. All right, so I'm gonna have my little helper here. Ashley, can you say hi? Hi. This is Ashley. In case you are new here to my channel, she loves to help out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ashley, what we're gonna do, we've got Minwax Finishing Wax. This is in the color Natural. I actually wish I had it in a gray or even like in a black, um, but I'm just gonna use a paper towel and I'm gonna get quite a bit on here. So I just want to put this wax over the top of it. Just gives it a nice, I don't know, it just kind of ages it a little bit. Kind of gives it a little extra texture to it. So we're gonna let that wax kind of dry a little bit. But I'm also gonna go and make a frame to go around this and then we're gonna be all set. All right, you guys, we're all done. What I ended up doing was cutting down some little one by pieces and framing it out. I just painted this the same color at black and then I kind of roughed it up with sandpaper and I nailed it onto the back of the wood. If you are curious about how to do these frame pieces, I'll put a link to a lot of my wood crafts that I've done in the past. I kind of show in more detail kind of how to cut these and size them out. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can come back for more. So stay tuned and we're glad you're here to watch our channel. Thank you guys.